Hi, my name is Shannon Miller, and I am going to share six ways to bring your Destiny Library collection to life with Bibliognasium. But first, let me tell you a little about Bibliognasium. Bibliognasium is the Goodreads for Kids. It is also one of the AASL best websites for teaching and learning. Creating a culture of reading is one of the most important things a librarian and a classroom teacher can do. Using digital tools like Bibliognasium is an effective way to engage this generation. They can use Bibliognasium as an alternative to Accelerated Reader and as a tool to motivate and measure independent reading without making it another test platform. Bibliognasium makes it easy for librarians and teachers to collaborate to support independent reading and it also is a wonderful way to connect parents. The integration with Destiny completes the circle. So let's talk about these six ways to bring your Destiny Library collection to life with Bibliognasium. Number one, students and educators benefit from single sign-on. There's no need to upload IDs and passwords. You can log in from either platform. The kids only have to remember one ID and password, and students get moved to new homerooms in Bibliognasium when they are moved in Destiny. Remember, you can log in from either platform. So let's get started by logging into Bibliognasium by clicking Login with Destiny. This will take you to the Destiny login. You will use your Destiny ID and password to log in. You are now logged in to both Destiny and Bibliognasium by using one username and password. This is so helpful for kids because they don't have to remember, and you don't either as a teacher or librarian, have to remember all those username and passwords. You can also start your login through Destiny by clicking Login. You will use your Destiny username and password to log in here too. You are now logged into both Destiny and Bibliognasium. You will see the Jump to Bibliognasium option here. This is very easy to click it and go right into Bibliognasium. And either way, you end up in the homepage of Bibliognasium. Number two. Make your library the engine to Bibliognasium, the Goodreads for kids, and increase your student engagement. These are some of the highlights of Bibliognasium's features. You can create a community and culture of reading by bringing your class or group into Bibliognasium. When I did this, I first signed up each individual class with their individual Bibliognasium account. And so one teacher or one grade level might have had their own group. But then after a year, I realized that I needed to bring multiple grades together to grow their reading community because I would have maybe a student in second grade who wanted to recommend a book to their sibling in fourth grade. And so bringing these multiple grades together, it really grew their community too and that culture of reading. Kids also love the virtual bookshelves. It is like the Goodreads for kids, just like I said earlier. And when they can see these books and they can see everything that they have added to their shelves, it really means that they can take ownership over their space in Bibliognasium. They can also discover new books on the homepage with all of the news that is being shared. I love this because Bibliognasium is sharing new books and little tips and quotes and interesting facts all the time. And so it's really fun for the kids to be able to go to their homepage and just get these little updates as well. They can also exchange reviews and recommendations and this can happen anytime. So it really keeps your reading community active. This is also a really safe place for them to go um, where they can interact with a social network and I use this when I would talk about digital citizenship skills with my kids and when I would also discuss um, just social networks and so for them to be able to exchange reviews and recommendations and interact with in Bibliognasium you know that they're going to be safe and you know that it's going to be a really great conversation though um, for their future and even just now using different social networks and so a great place for digital citizenship skills to take place. There are also digital reading logs where they can record what they are reading by keeping track digitally in their own Bibliognasium account and this makes it really fun and manageable for kids. 
It also is another place for them to really gain ownership and responsibility for their own reading log. Students and teachers can also set up reading challenges based on categories or genres. And books of their choice, number of minutes, reading or reading a specific number of books from a list. And this is great because they can focus on one of these reading challenge um, aspects, but they also can, it really encourages them to follow their reading and it makes reading really fun. And so my kids, they love to set up reading challenges um, for themselves and as their group. And think about it too, like for summer reading or when you have a break from school, you can set up a reading challenge or they can set up their own reading challenge and really see their progress of reading over that break too. That was fun. It was always really fun for my son Hagen to be able to do that. And it kept him reading because he could see these books and he loved being in his bibliognasium just to keep track of his um, books and his shelves there. Now the virtual badges or awards are really great for giving them some prompts for their reading. Um, things like reviewing a book for the first time or reading a specific genre. And of course, the honor badge that they all receive when they first log into Bibliognasium. And this is really great because we all, I think, virtual awards and badges and, and gaming in the library and classroom is such a popular thing. And so Bibliognasium has done a great job of integrating these virtual awards for the kids um, for their reading. And also parents can log in and be connected to their children in Bibliognasium. This is a really wonderful way to get them more involved with their reading life and to have these great conversations at, um, at their home and tie them into their reading at school too and what they're reading at home as well. And so really great way to get them engaged but also the conversation that takes place just from being a parent also that has used this. I love that aspect of it. There are also different reports available within Bibliognasia. Um, you can see that there are wish list reports and book review reports and even like top recommended books. And this is really helpful to you as you strengthen that reading community within your library and within your classroom too. The progress reports, they even track individual students on their reading through specific titles and group of books. And so this is nice because you can see how many books that they've read um, and really track their progress and it will let them know and you know when the challenge has also been completed. You can also track the lexile of individual students in the individual student reading summary. And it's going to give you a snapshot of each student by sharing the lexile range of the books that they've logged. There's also an option to export reports. This will include the ISB information and you will have the ability to sort that data in Excel. Number three, bring your library's resources to the attention of your students and increase circulation. Students can see the status of books in your library in real time on their Bibliognasium bookshelf. Your library's resources will be highlighted in the search results. So you can see that this student, they search for the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and that arrow is showing that that book is in. And so when you look at the shelf, and when the kids look at the shelves, they can see which books are actually in their library and which books are in or checked out. And as the status of the books change in your Destiny catalog, this will also change in Bibliognasium in real time. And so like on this one, when they saw Harry Potter on the shelf, you can see that that one is out um, and it turns red, just like the little N would be in green on the side there. Number four, curate book lists and book recommendations based on existing library resources and increased circulation. Here's an example of this. A student wants a book about presidents. The search results will highlight titles that already exist in your library and you can create a list for students from your existing resources. Bibliognasium will let you recommend books that are in your library to your students. And I love this because you can see here that it's very easy to select the students that you want to send it to if you want to send it just to some specific students or even to your whole class. And so it's really easy to be able to recommend um, books then that way as a teacher and as a librarian. 
You can also check your student's favorite book tab and recommend books from your library that match their interests. And this was really important for me because it's a way for me to engage my readers and really be able to not only see what they love to read and what they're interested in, but to be able to be someone that would listen to their interests and match a book or books up to their interests. And so that's a really great way too, just to build that community with you as a librarian and as the teacher with your kids. Number five, give your students direct access to available titles in your library and increase circulation. Titles that match in your school's Destiny catalog will display a Check My Library button. You can see that right there underneath the book. By clicking Check My Library, the book page will launch in Destiny, and users can perform all of their Destiny library functions. For example, they can click on Hold, Check Out, Check In, just like Destiny would work. So here's an example of this. A student wants to write a paper on Hershey chocolate. They search chocolate by Hershey and it shows up uh, the book on the shelf and it shows that it is in the school library. So the student then selects a book and selects to check my library, that orange button that we saw before underneath the book. And then Bibliognasium Chocolate by Hershey book page links to Destiny Chocolate by Hershey book page. Since the book is an ebook, the students can then open the ebook and begin reading. And number six, help with your collection management. Get books for your library that kids want to read. This is so important for all of us, and we of course want to put books in our library, and this was one of the most important things for me when I was gathering books that I wanted to add to our library collection. And there are a number of reports that will give you information on how your students are engaged with books and with your library collection. You can see from here that there's several reports from challenges to most popular, um, even the top books with the star rating, which I find really fun to be able to look at those. Librarians can select to run reports for an individual group or multiple groups, which is really helpful too. And teachers can also run reports for their own group or homeroom. They can view results by titles in, out, and not available in the library. And there is also detailed information about how many wish lists a title would appear on. And so on this one, you can see that when they are viewing the wish list report for a certain date, that they can see that the one and only Ivan, of course, is added to 13 wish lists. And so that would be a book that I would think that my kids would want for our library. And so I would order that. But looking at all of these, it's so helpful to be able to see how many kids have added the books and what books have been added to to wish list. So a really great way to add books to your collection that way. There are many ways also to see the data within Bibliognasium. Um, example would be to view the wish list titles that are not in your library. And another example would be to view the wish list titles that are available in the library. And so this is another way to really easily organize what your students want when you're thinking about your collection by seeing what's not in your library and what is a good way to order. And remember, there's also an option to export reports and these will include the ISBN information and you will have the ability to sort then that data in Excel. So in summary, there are many ways to use Bibliognasium with your Destiny platform. You can connect your library's resources to Bibliognasium and collaborate with your classroom teachers and engage with your students to create a culture of reading that we all want to create. So for setup support, please visit the Support Center or call Follett Technical Support at 888-511-5114 and option three. Thank you so much and have fun using Bibliognasium with your students too.